Hello, I have a longboard, and I look very sick with it. This is definitely the way you're supposed to hold it. But the reason I have a longboard is because yesterday, something happened to my board and I can't quite remember what it was. Yeah. Huh. So today we're just going along for the ride. I randomly stumbled on this crazy place called a dream park. No one is here. So I feel like I'm going to take my longboard, combine it with the awesomeness of this playground slash whatever the hell it is and do something cool. Maybe have fun. Longboarding. Am I right? I just I really want to learn how to do the cool cruising thing that a lot of people do I, There are some people who do kind of like kind of like the tricks I was doing the no comply stuff and just you know my, my friend Wouter Hans as I say your name He does like a lot of trickeries, but I also really want to learn how to just like cruise in a cool way Which I have no idea how to do so I'm looking at Hyoju on Instagram She's a Korean skateboarder longboarder from South Korea Korean, South Korea. Okay, I already said that. Redundant. And it's ridiculous for me to think that like in, you know, with the little amount of time I've spent on a longboard, which is basically just like two days, that I can just do what these people do. But I have been skateboarding for a long time, so I have this feeling that th right now, this is what I'm watching. I'm watching this clip where Hyoju is just, just cruising. And like, you can tell she does this thing where she like kind of puts her right leg over her left leg. She kind of bounces and she's doing that a lot. And then she turns around. Like she has a lot of control and knows how to stay centered on the board. And obviously it looks really cool. I don't even know what she just did there. But I want to figure out how to just like, if I could just kind of do this, like I feel like, oh, like that, that alone, the little 360 thing she did, that's like hard. Just that part is hard for me. So I want to figure out how to do these little shindigs. Is that it? Okay. So I get the basic understanding of how she's going left and right. She puts her right foot on the left side and that's why her board goes this way. And basically when it goes just a little too far, she puts her left foot on and then the board goes this way and then she puts her feet on. So if I could just figure out like standing like this on the board and then being like going right like this and then going left like this, I feel like, do I look awesome? I feel like I'm gonna, I'd be stoked. confusing thing ever. So I just watched it again. It's not like she just keeps switching her feet. She basically puts her right foot on and as the board's turning, she puts her left foot on and then uses that momentum to carve and then she does it again. So she goes like that and it feels like it feels a lot more possible though. I was trying to literally just keep switching my feet up and just like turn one footed left, right, left, right. So I feel like I just need to do what she does, but it's kind of hard to, I don't know. It's hard to figure out. Like, I feel like you need slight like downhill or good speed or just not to be bad at skating. So let's just try that. wanted to be able to do the whole cruising thing with a longboard anyways. I know it sounds so weird, especially imagining my younger self working at Blue Tile Skate Shop. I remember when we got longboards and I was like, 
what the hell is this? This isn't skateboarding. And everybody who came in basically used it for transportation on the college campus. But nowadays, people are doing such cool things with longboards, especially the ones like the one that I have where you can flip it and do a bunch of stuff. By the way, if anyone asks where I got the board from, the truth is I went through Wouter Hans, the homie who is really good at longboarding, and he actually just hooked me up with one. He like got somebody to literally make it custom made for me. So I don't even know if you can get one of these like easily. You might have to just find a, a, a place near you and actually get them to make it. It's kind of insane. Um, but they're fun. And the truth is with actual skateboarding, I, I've been doing it for so long that I, you know, I've learned probably thousands of tricks at this point and I'm just like, I'm interested in doing something very similar but different to where it's like a brand new slate and longboarding is that for me. But the truth is it's still not as fun. Like I, I would probably rather just be like trying to do kickflips and stuff like that and I guess I can do that with the longboard but it's, I don't know, it's, it may be getting there. I feel like if I get better at it, usually the better I get at something, the more fun it becomes. So skateboarding is more fun now than ever, but I'm also just too used to it or something. Sorry about that. I'm trying to wait as long as I could for you. But... I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Sorry about that. I can never tell what's open and what's not these days. We did it. We found a parking lot with absolutely no shade. So I'm going to have to put a hat on. I'm also going to have to protect the camera somehow because they overheat in a second and weather like this. And I think I have an idea. Here's a picture of what we're working with. So my camera is safe. I'm gonna sit here and try to do 20 tricks. For some reason, I always need to have like an objective number measure. Uh, so I'm gonna do 20 tricks, whether they're good, bad, does not matter. Uh, and I will be accomplished for the day and that will be a wrap for the video. So by 20 tricks, I meant uh, six because the sun is beating down very heavily. It's basically killing my camera really fast. Also, I did pull my groin muscle. I'm not sure which trick, maybe the varial flip, but it's. I think it's because you have to have your legs so spread out. And then when you land, you have to have your legs more spread out than a normal skateboard. So like my muscle memory was just all out of whack, but I am glad I landed the varial flip. It actually felt really cool and it took a lot of effort. Uh, but I feel like I, with a longboard, you have to put so much more effort in that that's gonna be really bad for my groin slash thigh muscle if I just continue. So I'm gonna call it. Uh, I have been skateboarding like every other day, but recently, even in Texas, my, my lifestyle has changed so much and I will be showing more of that as we continue these videos. I definitely wanna like showcase more life. I don't know, I like a uh, slice of life. I like like, you know, day, I, I, I miss watching that kind of content on YouTube where it's just like a good feel of someone creating and I have been drawing a shit ton. So I know I don't say drawing right, that's just the way it is. But I feel like it'd be fun to showcase that side of my life. Like the fact that, you know, we're doing so much more in life now, but I'm showing less than ever. So I want I want you guys to, to see it and I want to think of a fun way to show that. So, you know, you're just not like, what are we watching? I want it to be fun. And uh, anyways, just letting you know. But on that note, I'm going to call it. I tried, uh, but man, today was, today was harsh. It was not the greatest skate session, but next time we'll do better. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, progress daily, and... Uh, Keep killing. Yay.